victories, a draw would have been enough to secure a top two spot and the double chance that comes with it. United took control in the opening exchanges and led 1-0 until Morwell's John Markovsky let loose with his now legendary lethal left foot strike. The Falcons' rise in the National League has been remarkable. Promoted just three years ago, they've always been on the fringe of playoff qualification. Although Claudio Canossa's goal was assisted by a deflection, the Falcons appeared more suited to the heavy conditions. The 2-1 scoreline became 3-1 when Steve Douglas beat the offside trap, as well as goalkeeper Zelko Kalatz, before allowing John Waddell to finish the formalities. Sydney United complete the minor premiership in third place, but are forced to battle through the playoffs the hard way. For Morwell, their finals quest begins with a new wave of confidence. Well, if we can keep playing the way we've run the last all season, written off at the start of the year as a likely contender, the Blues have turned a run of outs into a string of victories. Italian recruit Giancarlo Lucetta proved his worth in putting South Melbourne ahead. And even though Mark Silic hit back 12 minutes later, the 1-1 result allowed both sides to achieve their objectives. It's just the equaliser. It is! And Mark Silic is the player. The Melbourne Knights are the minor premiers. South Melbourne squeeze into the top six. Anastasiadis takes it himself. And that's it. South Melbourne have won the honours here tonight.